Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie with CoinCasso, and this is Bitcoin Today, a show where we talk about everything cryptocurrency to keep you guys up to date and informed on all things happening in the crypto industry. In today's episode, I wanna stick to one topic, and that one topic is Bitcoin, and should you get out now, and is this the peak price? Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, November 17th. Thank you so much for joining me every single day. And thank you for joining me throughout the live streams that we've been doing over the last two weeks. I know it's not your regularly scheduled content, but I appreciate you guys showing up anyway. Now it's time to get back to the regular show. And if you guys are new here and you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing down below and tick the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new one. All right, let's start off the episode by talking about the cryptocurrency prices over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is up 3.5% at $16,635 and Ethereum is at $465.06 up 3.15%. Chainlink is up 4.4% at $12.87 and XRP astoundingly is up 11.4% at 30 cents right now. I also want to jump onto coin market cap really quick and see who are the top movers in the last 24 hours because this will give you a really because this will give you a really good judge of what season it is, whether it is main coin season or altcoin season. So right when you get onto the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, it'll show you in order one through whatever a million. You just have to sort them by the 24 hour change. So click this 24 hour button and whoa. 385% in one day red coin. Uh, just pulling it up really quick on trading view because that's incredible. Um, don't buy this right now. This is like literally, it looks like a pump and dump to me. Okay, Curve Dow token up 19.7%, Yearn Finance up 18.5%, Av up 16.2%, Reserve Rights 15%, Golem 11%, Ethereum Classic 11%. Okay. This is an indication to me, and I'm going to talk about why I think Bitcoin is going to flatline right now. Okay, so if you remember my previous video, I said this. So as far as I can tell, we're still going to go up to like 16,851 because this is take profit one, take profit two, take profit three. I predicted that Bitcoin was going to go up to 16,800. And now I need to look at it again to see if it'll continue up or if this is the top level and it's going to start retracing now. So I'm going to remove all of my indicators here, my Fibonacci retracements from my previous video because those are no longer relevant since we are in a different time frame now. Okay, first off, I really, really like being right about where the price of Bitcoin is going to go. I assumed 16,800 and we literally touched 16,800 and peaked up to 16,880 and then started to come back down, sitting at about 16,675 right now. But since Bitcoin's been at $10,000, it's literally just climbed straight up. There's been no real big retracements except for this small section where it went down to the 618. And that's where I projected that it was going to go up to 16,800, according to my Fibonacci retracement levels. If you guys want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description below. I made three videos teaching you guys how to do it. But essentially, just to recap, if you guys don't remember, so from the lowest point, right, to the highest point of the candle bodies, right? So I'm going to stretch this out across. This came down to the 618 and then take profit one, take profit two, take profit three. Um, this actually might continue up a little bit more, up to 17,200. But to be certain, you need to take it out to a bigger time frame. Like, if you're looking, this is why it's horrible, 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 horrible to look at like a five minute chart or one minute chart and think that that's a great entry point. You're looking for a solid trend, whether it's up or down, and once that trend stops and retraces, you're looking for a retracement for the 618 level or the 0.5 level on the Fibonacci tool, and then it'll continue in that trend. The thing that gets most people is when they see a retracement here to the 618, the thing that gets most people is when they see a retracement like this to the 618, I like to wait until it crosses and then comes back up through it 
because if it crosses it and you already have your buy order in, it could keep going down because it's a retracement on a larger time frame. This is on an hourly candlestick chart, so we can take it out to a day, a week, a month, a year, whatever. Okay, so I've got Bitcoin out now from the beginning, from when it was you know, in the 100s all the way up to the $20,000 level. You can see it retraced down here to the 764 level, right there, 764, came up, retested again, and is now on its way up. So if you're looking at long, long, long-term retracement, like this is multiple years, you have to think that this is 2018 and this is 2020, so this is three years. So if you're expecting a move up to take profit level three, you're looking at maybe another, I don't know, six to seven months on this. And that's 24,173. And I've been seeing these stupid predictions on the internet where Bitcoin's going to hit 300 some odd thousand. I'm, I'm going to put the article right here by the end of 2020 or the end of 2021. And to be completely honest, this is absurd and you would have to have such a parabolic spike. And I really don't think that the demand and the supply work with that. If I'm wrong, then oh my God, everybody that watches these videos that holds Bitcoin, we're all rich, we're all good, I can quit this, I can quit, we can just all go to the Maldives together. But if you wanna think about it rationally, see how this has been growing on that trajectory? Let's just draw a trend line right there, right? We just drew a trend line right here to show this time frame. This is from the March 12th bottom to the current price at the correct angle that it's been going up. Even if it doubles what it did right now on this bull run, we're looking at 26,900, and you also have to think about the time frame. This is March, that was nine months ago. So you're looking at another nine months before it even gets up to 26,000. Now, the one thing that concerns me the most is the moving averages. If you guys want to know what a price is going to do with moving averages, like, look, the price, this red line right here is the 200 moving average. Let me make this bigger for you guys. The price goes away from the 200 moving average and then always goes toward it when it gets too far away. Price went up, came down. Price went up, came down. Look at how far away it is from the 200 moving average right now. This type of growth and this distance away from the 200 moving average is absolutely frightening, which is what makes me think that we're due for a correction. Because if you take this same time frame right here from when we were at 9,200 all the way up to 12,300, 12,500, this time frame right here from when it went up from the 200 and then back down to the 200 was 45 days. Now, if you take this same time frame, we're sitting at about 43 days right now and it might be time for Bitcoin to have a break. And it's not that the price is going to crash down to zero. It's the fact that the price momentum is exhausted. There are only so many bulls in the market to keep the price going up. Once they get tired, the bears take over and they short Bitcoin and they make money on it. They're going to bring it down. So getting rid of this Fibonacci level and only taking this into account. Now, again, this is on the daily candlestick chart from the beginning of October. Let's take this Fibonacci retracement tool. And if it were to retrace right now and start dropping right now, it would go to the 50 level or the 618. Worst case scenario, as long as we're still in a bull market, worst case scenario, it's going to drop down to the 764 which is $12,000. If it goes to the 618, it's 12,900, and the 0.5 level is 13,641. But I don't want you guys to get out just yet. I know it's ridiculous to think that you can get out at the top of the market and just be lucky. What you wanna do is wait for an actual signal to let you know that it is going to correct down. You're gonna lose some money from the point that it's at now, but it's better than missing the bull run. Okay, so you can see here right now this blue line. This is the 10 moving average. It's been using this as a support all the way up. We got really far away from the 10 and it came right back down, tested it, and then shot right back up. So you're looking for a strong crossover of the 10 moving average to where it touches the 21 day moving average. That's at 15,100. I know that's a huge loss from the price that it is now, 
but it's better than scratching your head wondering what to do here at 12,000. When you're making a decision whether you wanna buy or sell cryptocurrencies, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum, it doesn't matter. You want to look at different time frames using the same moving averages. Because on the one day chart, it shows super bullish momentum that it's not gonna stop. But if you take it down to a smaller time frame like the one hour chart, you will see the price fluctuating with the moving averages starting to cross over you can see a loss of momentum at that point. So looking here, you see a moving average crossover and it dumped down. That's when it went from 16,000 all the way down to 14,300. So if you wanna be certain of when this price is actually going to start dropping, you're waiting for a moving average crossover. So right now I have the 10, the 21, the 50, and the 200. Once these moving averages flip order and it goes 200, 50, 21, and eight. That means the bears have taken over and they should push the price down quite a bit. So in conclusion, what should you do if you're a holder of Bitcoin right now and you're wondering if the price is gonna go back down? What should you do if you wanna make the most amount of money? If you are a skilled day trader and you have a proven track record that you've successfully predicted the price action in Bitcoin, then you may trade this. But not just yet, you're looking for a moving average crossover on a smaller time frame to where all moving averages reverse positions. That's gonna be your indication to get out and then get back in at a 618 or a 0.5 level retracement. If you are new to cryptocurrencies and you just hold Bitcoin and you don't know when to buy, when to sell, do not sell Bitcoin. Because by the time you get around to making the emotional decision of selling Bitcoin because the price has dropped so much, at that point is when it's going to start going back up and you're going to miss the boat. So if you're inexperienced in day trading and you don't know how to successfully day trade either on a daily basis or a weekly basis to make small profits while the price is moving in a certain direction, absolutely do not sell your Bitcoins. Hold them for the long term and I promise in a couple of years you will thank me. If you are a day trader and you are successful, you already know what to do. So just stick with your trading plan. If you guys want to learn more about my strategy, that I use moving averages, that I use Fibonacci retracement levels, that I use massive support and resistance levels only, I don't do the small support and resistance levels, Everything is in a three-part video thing that I did. That's linked in the description down below. I really, I go in depth when to get in, when to get out so that you guys can start learning and start growing on your journey to make money in day trading cryptocurrencies. If you're not into that, literally just hold cryptocurrencies are gonna be far more valuable going way into the future. As with any investment, they are risky. So whether you're investing in Apple or Google or Bitcoin or Ethereum, you have to only invest money that you're willing to lose. My suggestion for the people trying day trading for the first time is definitely to start paper trading. Look at the price right now and write on a piece of paper, sell Bitcoin at $16,630. Watch what the price does. See if it retraces to the 618 level. If it does, write down on a piece of paper, buy Bitcoin at 14,100. See how you do trading imaginary money on a piece of paper and then once you're successful with that, you can get into actually trading real money. Or, and I don't recommend this to everybody, if you wanna look into trading Bitcoin binary options, you can really trade with a very small amount of money, so it's extremely low risk. You can trade with as little as $1. So if you go onto the Coin Caso Exchange, you'll get brought to the home screen here, and right here on the left-hand side where it says apps, there's an app called Long Short. You click play, and basically this gives you a live price ticker of Bitcoin every second. And basically you're choosing whether the price is going to be higher or lower in 60 seconds. So you can use one USDT and go long or short. I'm gonna go long. Now the reason I went long, right? So the price was down here and then spiked up to here. As it came down, if you look at that same Fibonacci retracement level, you see it went up and came down about halfway. So I went long and now the price is up. So as you're winning, it's flashing green. If you're losing, it's flashing red. 
And then when you win, you get a confetti cannon, you won, and you get 80% profits off of your original bet. So imagine if you were doing 100 USDT, you would have made 80 USDT in 60 seconds. I really like playing this because you can actually use technical analysis and moving average crossovers, and every time moving averages cross over, that's your position to get long or short. Now, I'm not an expert at this, and I don't claim to win every single time, but over the last 15 trades, I've only lost four of them. Now, imagine for a second that 11 out of 15 trades are winners and you're doing 100 USDT per option call. That's a 75% win rate and I would be up with all of the wins 880 and then with the four losses down 400. So I'd be up 480 USDT. Let me know if you guys wanna see this because I kinda wanna test my skills with this. I wanna see if I can take one USDT and turn it into 500 using this app. If you guys wanna see that, just say yes in the comment section below or I wanna see it or what have you. But let's wrap this video up. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe on your way out and we will see you back here tomorrow.